Well, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. And we're doing... Uh, I always... I say this on so many videos. We're doing something different. But this is different. Now, first, I know that there's going to be a lot of people going, Oh, this is some commercial endorsement for a product. No. 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 People don't pay us. We no. just... We find if things. If we like and, a thing, we like a thing. Well, if we like a thing and if we recommend a website, it's because we stumbled across it. Or if, in this case, we find a really nice supplier of balsa wood. Hey. And that's what we found is a really right. nice supplier of balsa wood. And the thing is... Um, we've been using a lot of balsa wood, probably oh. now for about 50 years, something like that. Well, wow. I've, been, I've been going through. Well, it's a modeling thing. Uh, yeah, I discovered it after you know, I was a kid. We used to build little airplanes out of it, but I found it works really, really well making building fronts. Well, it works great for all kinds of things because yeah. it's easy to work with. Oh, you can cut it with an exacto. I mean, yes, it's lightweight and it's wonderful sure. because you can build airplanes, but just the fact that it's so easy to work with. Oh, I'm, And I'm, it's yeah. so dimensionally stable. Right. So many woods want to warp and stuff, and this is much less likely I've not to had do a warp. that. There is a problem with it. You can't get it. Oh. For whatever reason, I mean, I know supply chain difficulties, and they can talk all of this stuff about how ships are at anchor. I don't know why. If you know why, feel free to jump into the comments. But the last few times I've tried to get a hold of Midwest balsa wood, mm -hmm. crickets. Huh. Maybe the crickets ate the balsa wood. But anyway, I've, I've ordered it online. I've ordered it from Amazon. Amazon says there's a delay, and then I get another alert. There's a delay, and then six months, six months later, it, it comes back and says we can't order. The, it, it's, oh. And they just cancel the order. Oh, dear. And it's like, what the heck? That we, We've gotten some sizes and shapes at Joann's. Mm -hmm. We've found some really nice stuff by buying it directly out of China. Mm-hmm. But that's inconvenient. It takes, takes months oh, to get here. Oh, it takes the same amount of time to get here, right. This stuff comes from National Balsa. Oh, nice. National Balsa wood. And that's... I, I've bought from them forever and ever and ever. They, they, their packaging is first rate. Their shipping is first rate. Their prices are... Well, you're going to pay a, a little par, bit for it. Because yeah. it's expensive. This right. last order was $90, $98. Wow. But we bought a lot because we right. go through a lot. And, right. and, and we've been getting these really thick sizes and some of it in the really wide widths. And uh -huh. some of the stuff is much cheaper. The thinner, narrower stuff is always going to be cheaper. Right. And that works well, though, for some models. Well, you sure. know, you want to have the right thing. Absolutely. The you, you, last thing you want to do is pay extra money for this and then find somebody with a thickness planer. So you just, right. you know, you get what you need and you pay for what you get. Mm -hmm. and, and this is really a first class product. That looks really nice. And the key is they have it. And I think that they are one of the big suppliers to a lot of the modeling companies. I and, I, so. you know, Midwest doesn't grow their own balsa wood. So um, I'm not sure how that works or where it comes from and where National Balsa gets theirs from. <clears throat> but they do. They do. They do. Yeah. And it's first rate. Oh, and, yeah. The and the price is, is, the, is the price. It's right. just kind of a going price. You don't pay any extra for mm -hmm. it. Uh, they also don't cut you any deals. It's just the price is the price. Right. And that's okay. But as long as I'm getting a quality product, I don't mind the price. And you've been going through a lot of it because oh, you've yes. been building these building fronts. Right. And that's kind of your new thing. Yes. <laughs> they work well because they're lightweight. They don't weigh a lot. They don't weigh a lot. Well, we've been using them on the railroad. Uh -huh. And you build all the building fronts for the backdrop on the logging railroad. Right. And then you decided to run amok and just start modeling things from your history. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's a history behind that, too, because I've kind of gone nuts. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have my hometown completely built and, and constructed. As I'm building fronts careful. only. She's not doing the whole building. No, but I've got all but of the main street now. <laughs> they don't weigh anything. You can hang them on a wall because they're just these kind of buildings right, about kind of so big. A shelf. Seat. And you've, been, you've cleaned completely out the scrap bin. Yes. Because a lot of what she's using are the little leftover pieces The leftover pieces. Over pieces I won't let him throw anything away if it's usable I save it but a lot of the stuff that that I'm building whether it's structures or rolling stock or whatever I want to use evergreen plastic right it doesn't have the strength to do big models no. if you're doing a box car that's so big and that stuff and so if you buy something thick enough like I've bought 
uh, like eighth inch thick um, uh, polyester, not polyester, but the, the clear uh, uh, stuff. They like call acetate? it acetate. Uh, you know, well, everyone calls it plexiglass. Plexiglass, but it's, yeah, cl- yeah. You know, acrylic sheet. Thank yeah, the you. see-through stuff. That stuff. And even that isn't that strong. It's insanely difficult to work with. Oh, if you're not careful, it cracks. And, and it cracks and... and it shatters. This stuff is so easy to work with. And then I'll just veneer a thin layer of evergreen over it. Right. And which makes this even more dimensionally stable than it already was. And this has enough strength that if I build a, I mean, that's almost the size right there of a 40 foot box car. Right there, yes. And. But that's not going anywhere, right. and especially if I veneer both sides with there plastic or something. Anyway, national balsa, because if right. you're anything like <laughs> us, you can't get it. And uh, that's a place where you go to their website, you order it, and then it just comes. There's right. no back orders. There's no, no shortages. There's no complaints. Right. It's just... And it's always first well, rate. Well, they even have some extra packing pieces of plywood. And hey, I'll, I'll use those too. Oddly enough, uh, a company that sells wood uses wood as a packing material. Who For me, it's thought? like a bonus. But even cardboard. And, and it's like, oh, save this. Score. Yeah, yeah, the whole now, thing. Now, one thing about it, uh, just something to, to, to be uh, aware of, when you buy the really wide widths, you're more likely to see flaws when you're buying... The narrower pieces, it's much more perfect. But sometimes when you buy these six-inch wide pieces, you will see some little tiny bits of checking, and there's not much you can do about that. Right, but this this piece here is just perfect. That piece is perfect. Yeah. But one of the pieces we got this time did mm-hmm. have a little bit of checking. Well, right. you work around that, and right. then especially if you're going to be uh, veneering it with something else sure. or whatever. Right. It's, right. it's a no-brainer, and you can exactly. usually work around Yeah, the, turn the it over and, and put that and, side on the inside where it's not going to show. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, National Ball. So we just thought we'd recommend that place because if you're anything like us, you use this stuff. Oh, I'm... And you're having a heck of a time finding yeah, it. I like this way better than the foam core uh, poster board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because you've been using a lot of foam core. Oh, yeah, the poster board, and yeah, it's, it still works. Th- that works. Um, this works better, I think. Right, I think so. And, okay, yeah, again, foam core is a lot cheaper than this, but works works. And right. if you're going to put a month into building something really nice, or two months or three months into mm-hmm. building something really nice, you don't want to build it out of mm-hmm. an inferior material. Right, you you, even if, the, nice. you know, if this is going to set you back... 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. Big deal. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. <laughs> just just a, a little Tuesday recommendation from us. Right. Well, if uh, you haven't been over to the channel, pop over to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. <laughs> and the easy way to subscribe is the blue button. Are we ready? Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. Because uh, you could bore whores. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> boarding. Bore. Boarding. It's a wood bore. Uh, we hope you didn't find it boring. <laughs> Bark beetle. I've never seen a beetle, did it? Okay. Blue button. <laughs> so I- We're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. (laughs) And we will see you on Sunday because we're going to show you some stuff built out of this stuff. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.